Assalamu alaikum. Let's maintain some hygiene today. So today we are going to study about oral hygiene index. So there were two people. Jack R. Vermillion and John C. Green. So let's suppose they were fed up of each other's oral hygiene status. So what they did, they developed the oral hygiene index in 1960. So we have two people. Okay, so we have two components as well. So one is the Debris index and then we have the Calculus index. So a Debris is a soft foreign matter which is loosely attached to the teeth. So it consists of mucin, bacteria, food and the Calculus. It is a mineralized plug. So we can remove the Debris, remove it and we cannot remove this. We cannot remove this. Now what we do, we divide the arch into segments. So we divide it into six segments. So if this is the lip of the patient and you ask the patient to open his mouth, this would be something, you'll see something like this. So this will be the first quadrant. We are talking about the quadrants now. This will be the second quadrant, third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Okay. So what we do here, we do not divide it into quadrants. We divide it into segments. So segment one is distal to the right cuspid. So this is a cuspid. So distal to it. This is the segment one. And then segment two is mesial to the right and left bicuspid. So this is a bicuspid. So mesial surface of bicuspids. So this is the segment two. And similarly, we have segment three and we have I'll just write it here, segment 3, segment 4, segment 5 and segment 6. So we divide our arch into 6 segments and then we score. So rules, only fully erupted permanent teeth are scored. So this tooth, he's erupted. He's also erupted. So we will score them. But this poor tooth, he could not erupt. So we will not score this. Okay. Rule 2. Third molar is not included. So even if he is erupted, we will not score it. That's why he is very angry, I think. So what we do? We take a 23 explorer, which is the shepherd's hook, and we will move it along the buccal, labial and the lingual surface. So we will move it and we will see how much debris is collected. And we will do the same with all the teeth. And the tooth with the maximum debris, for example, in our case, this is the maximum scorer. So we'll select this tooth in the segment. So he's very happy because he got selected. Now the procedure, how you actually proceed. So we'll start quadrant wise. You'll score the buckle and then the lingual. Okay, then you'll proceed this way, this way, and similarly in the lower arch. Now scoring for debris index. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3 scoring. So score 0 is that no debris or stain is present. No debris, stain. Score 1, soft debris is present but it is not more than one third. So it is not more than one third. And score 2, this more than one third but less than two third. And score 3, it is more than two third. Now the calculus index. So score zero, no calculus, no calculus is present. Then score one, not more than one third calculus, not more than one third. And then score two, we have a supragingival calculus that is one third to two third. Plus we also have individual flex of subgingival calculus. So this is a gingiva. And we have individual flex of subgingival calculus. And in 3, we have more than 2 third. We have more than 2 third of the calculus plus this continuous band of heavy band of calculus. Heavy band. Now the calculation, you take the total buckle score, take the lingual total score, add it and divide with the number of segments scored. Same thing is done with the CI. Okay, buckle total, lingual total, divide by the number of segments. And for the OHI, we add the DI and the CI. 